Okay, we are in 13.3, which is ways to show the same amount. Okay, I want to show you guys something before we start. There is one more coin we didn't talk about yesterday, and it's a gold coin, and it's worth $1 or a hundred cents, okay? So I'm going to show you on the inside what the coin looks like, because it's not, you don't see it very often, okay? That's the dollar coin. Okay, there's the dollar bill, and that's the dollar coin. All right, so today we are going to show the same amount of money for 75 cents or the zero dollars and 75 cents, okay? So in number one, two, and three, they're all gonna equal 75 cents. So the first one I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use the biggest coins because I know if I clap my quarters, let's clap them. 25, 50, 75. So how many did I clap? Three, so. 25, 50, 75, okay? So these are all worth 25 because they're all quarters. And underneath, I'm going to write 25 cents, 50 cents, 75 cents. So all of my totals are going to equal 75 cents or $0.75. Okay, so another way to do it, <clears throat> I can do dimes. So I could say 10... 10 cents, another quarter, which is, I mean, sorry, dime, which is 20 cents, another dime, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Can I do another one and go on to 80? I can't because I want to equal 75. So how do I get there? Good. I can just do a nickel. 75 cents. So that's another way that I can make 75 cents. Okay. And I'm going to do a last way. If you want to do a different way on number three, you can do a different way. Remember, you're not writing till we're done, but I'm going to go ahead and do another one. So I could do 25. Another quarter, which is now 50. And then I could do 10, which it would be 60. I could do a nickel, which would take it to 65. I could do another nickel, which would take it to 70. And then I could do five of these guys. What are they called? Pennies, good job. And they barely fit. So 71, 72, 73, 74, and 75, which is the total that I want. Okay, so make sure you pause it and get that on your paper. Good job.